Every Christmas before she left, she'd always say, Mom, can you make up a plate for my friend? He doesn't have any family. He has no place to go for Christmas. Every Christmas she would say that. <laughs> That's the kind of person she was. She always thought of everybody <laughs> but herself. About a year before she passed away, she was having uh, significant symptoms, a weakness in her legs. Uh, she went to the family doctor and uh, he said, oh well, uh, he didn't do any testing. And she also went to the eMERGE department at one of the hospitals near her home a few times with these uh, symptoms as well. And uh, they told her the same thing. I first met Sarah C Campbell about 12 years ago. I remember her that um, she was smart, she was very kind, but what I remember most was her witty sense of humor. She could always get me to crack a smile. She did complain about having more numbness in her feet and legs, and uh, we did ask her to see her family doctor, and she told us that she was doing that. So we were not aware of any other um, physical concerns that she was having. She said, Mom, I can't feel my legs. I said, oh my God. I says, did you phone an ambulance? She said, yes, they're on their way. So this was March 2009, the end of March 2009. They took her to the eMERGE at the hospital near her home. Finally, they did some tests. MRI, different CAT scans. It was in, through her entire back, thoracic spine. She had cord uh, compression, a huge mass in her pelvis. She was completely paralyzed from the waist down. She had cancer, she had lymphoma. It's very hard for people with mental illness to get good, comprehensive and integrated health care. And there are a number of reasons for this. The first is that our system is under-resourced for mental health care. The second is people with mental illness have difficulty accessing primary health care. And third, health care providers are often uh, not equipped with the, uh, uh, with the skills or the tools to manage people with the complexities of some of these serious illnesses. Mental illness should not define a person. When a, a patient comes to see you, you should see them as a patient and do the appropriate testing. She died in June. She, she only, three months, she was gone. I do think that there needs to be a better system in place for us to collaborate with primary care. There has historically been a separation of the mental health care system from the health care system, and this is an important issue that has to be addressed. The Medical Psychiatry Alliance has made a great start. We're already well down the line of a number of initiatives that are extremely promising, but we have to continue. We have to work to accelerate the pace of change to create the outcomes that we anticipate. <laughs>